We're here at a place that you may have wondered about if you've ever driven past this area in Utah County. The Sri Sri Radha Krishna Temple is a place of worship, a place of learning, and a place of celebration built in the style of Hindu kings. We came here in the, in the 80s to buy the radio station. We had no plans to build any temples or to get a congregation or any of those things. Krishna had his plan. We came because my husband was doing broadcasting in California. He felt at the time, it's time to leave California. Let's go and buy a radio station. Welcome to 1480 KHQN, the Krishna station for the Utah Valley. This is Charu Das. So I thought, well, I'll do something outrageous. We can never build it, but I'll make something far out and it'll help bring in some funds. This is the first elevation print, which gave us an idea of what we would build. I made an announcement at our little Sunday gathering that we had. You know, in the future, we want to build a temple on top of the hill. And then, of course, it went right into BYU's daily universe, Krishna's building temple in Utah County. And then all the TV stations and radio stations and newspapers were here, and we thought, OK, they want us to build a temple, we'll build a temple. And we started broadcasting, and people started listening, and they started coming, and here we are now. The rest is history. We started the Festival of Colors, I think, in 1995. Just an excuse to have fun and chant Hare Krishna. It's 20,000 people over two days. We did have a line out the road and going down State Road a half a mile long, people waiting to get in. They don't know necessarily the inner significance of it or the seriousness of it to us. They just have a good time. It purifies them on some subconscious level. I think God just wanted to kind of play a joke on all of us and do what we would least expect is to establish a wonderful world-class Hare Krishna temple in there. It's 90% another religion. I can't say that of any other Krishna temple in the world. If the way it's presented, it's not an alien culture. It's just a basic belief in caring and love and devotion. If we understand who we are, that we're the soul, then we see other people as souls. Then we see equally. You can't say he's black, he's white, he's Indian, he's Muslim, he's Hindu. They're not. They have a body which is adapted to the culture and the environment that they're brought up in, but essentially they're all equal souls. Cultural nuances are not that significant when you start with who you are. Um, I don't identify as a Hindu or as a Hare Krishna. I identify myself as a servant of God. If you understand this, you understand a whole way of life. I think I'll hold your arm at this point. Okay. I fortunately got a good husband. We've been married 51 years. So marriage to us is sacred. God plans out things that two people who complement each other with their talents and abilities would somehow or other come to Utah, where there's no devotees, no resources, and because of the chemistry between them two brings something out of nothing. She's down to earth, she's practical. During the Hindu marriage ceremony, the priest says, the man is the heaven and the woman is the earth. Because the men, the men are described, that means they're always in the clouds. They're always got these crazy, impractical schemes. But you need to run it past the woman because she actually knows what's going to work and what's not going to work. You know, when we were building this temple from 1998 to 2001, there was a point at which uh, these all had to be painted and mounted, and she, she did all of that. She painted all these pictures here, and she carved the figures that you see in the dome, and she installed everything. 21 years ago, she'd spend like whole days up there on the scaffolding. So I went to the uh, London School of Fine Arts, then I went traveling around the world, and that's where I came across spiritual life, became a Krishna devotee, and immediately now I had a sense of purpose. Now I know what to paint. Krishna, it means the most attractive form of God. So one of the things I do when I have time is 
paintings for the temples. So this painting in the background here, it tells the story of Krishna dancing with the peacocks. Whenever you see any of the forms of the different incarnations of God, Krishna always has a peacock feather, you can tell him by that. And there wasn't a single period of time when we had to stop construction or even slow it down for lack of funds. Don't ask me how it happened. It was totally mystical. Uh, Mormon stakes, the wards came and helped. They'd bring 100 kids over to help tie rebar and BYU students and so on. And that way the temple went up for a very minimum cost with everyone's input. Hi, Krishna. This property we're trying to show that you can live in harmony with nature. Yeah, sometimes people do ask, why do you have these animals? You're a temple. As far as we're concerned, it's a way of life. It's not, temp going to the church or the temple is not something you do on a Sunday for an hour and then you live a different life. It's 24 hours, a way of life, which is respect for life, respect for nature, respect for all living beings. Yeah. Most places you go to the pond and the fish run away. Our fish come. The water goes by siphon down to the gardens. So we water them with fish water. We're growing all, my, all kind of amazing organic produce for two reasons, the fish water and the llama poop. So we're putting organics back into the sand. We're creating soil. About a month from now, it'll be just all really high. And then we got to pick it all, and then we got to chop it all up, and then we're going to cook it all. It was the atmosphere of the temple that counts. It has to be very open, liberating, a lot of windows, very light, heavenly. Everyone can come. Everyone's welcome. We just had an Indian family going through all the national parks and they saw our billboard on the freeway. Krishna Temple? He said, this is the last thing we expected. How did you get here? And I said, well, you know, Krishna, he has that look in his eye that says he loves nothing more than a good prank. So we're here because God has a sense of humor. <laughs>